What's up, everybody? Uh, huge day today. I just kind of wanted to share it with people who didn't really know exactly what was going on. It's it's going to be an incredible weekend. Today's going to be just wild. Um, so today starts the ADCC uh, Abu Dhabi Combative Championship. This is considered to be the highest peak in the jiu-jitsu world. Um, best fighters on, on the planet. Um, every match today is going to be one that you don't want to miss. I'm so excited for uh, my boy and I. We're going to watch the whole thing all weekend. And uh, Juju's going to be with us, so it's going to be extra fun. Um, there's a couple things that I'm really going to be watching for. My my young friend, uh, Dan Manasoyu, I think that kid's got a bright future. I'm going to be watching him extra hard. But really, I think that the big highlight for everybody um, is what Gordon Ryan is doing. Um, and I'm not sure if everybody's aware, but you should be because it's a it's a huge deal what what exactly is going on. Um, and forgive me for people who actually do know jujitsu. I'm just really starting to follow the sport, so there's probably a lot of intricacies that I'm gonna miss. But so Gordon Ryan is, is considered the best right now, and by many people already the greatest of all time. And that's how good this guy is. Um, so he has like a super fight. So like for arm wrestling, like a, a super match, whatever, um, on Sunday. So tomorrow. Um, okay, so that's that's tough, right? He's facing the number one contender for basically the, the title of number one in the world tomorrow. This crazy dude, this crazy dude is also entering the uh, the 99 plus division today, okay? So what that means is he's gonna be fighting, you know, 15 other, I think there's 16 in the bracket, of the toughest dudes on the, on the planet, okay? So he's in the tournament today, okay? And he'll fight if, assuming he wins, he will carry on until the finals, which are tomorrow morning. And then he will proceed to go into his uh, his title defense, basically. That's insane. He wanted, there's a thing called, I think it's the, the open as well, where they like more hand select people. It's not just the guys in the weight category. They kind of select all the special fighters. He wanted to do both. He wanted to do his division at 99 plus, and he only weighs 100 kilo. Okay, so he he could he could definitely make 99 below, but he's pulling the the big guys, and he wanted to enter both divisions and pull a super fight. To me, this is just completely insane, and shows a level of dominance in a sport that is just so rare. Like to equate it to arm wrestling. It would be like, so say that, uh, whatever, say that uh, you had like, say, okay, so let's talk the best, so we'll say LeVon, okay? So say LeVon was having a super match at, say, the old-fashioned, like, Nemiroff, okay, when that was rocking. So like Sunday, he'd have a super match with Vitaly or whatever, whoever that is, okay? And the day before, he decides to pull the open tournament, win it and pull the overalls and win it uh, sorry the, the overalls would be just before so he'd pull the tournament on saturday the overalls on sunday and, and then he'd do the super match it's insane it's insane anyways uh so excited to watch this uh all go down and uh yeah it's arm wrestling tonight after the after the event so hopefully uh if any of the local arm wrestlers uh know what's going on maybe you can jujitsu dudes if you're at the event you want to come and play come find me and uh plug in i can't wait i can't wait